Mrs. Bretcher here and in this lesson you're going to learn how to do navigation bars. You want to start by doing an unordered list but to divide because we're going to do several navigation bars on one page so to divide them up we're going to put them in divs and we're going to give them names and this particular one we're going to call tabs and then you want to go to the bottom of your list and close that div off and then you need to get the styles added to an internal style sheet or you can choose to do an external style sheet if you'd like. It might be easier than having to scroll back and forth. And these styles are on your instruction sheet. All you have to do is copy, head back to your navigation assignment, and paste those styles in. And then I missed another quotation mark, so it highlighted that in yellow for me. Now that I've done it, it has organized my nav bar up here at the top. However, it's supposed to look something like this with little buttons. If you look in the code, you notice that it's referencing an image here. Well, we don't have an image, so you need to go online and find an image or create one that looks kind of like a button, around 130 by 80 pixels. So here's my button. I took it into Photoshop cropped out what I needed. I'm going to save it. And you always want to put it in the closest filter possible. I changed the name to tab dot jpg. And right here the same thing. Change it to tab dot jpg. And now I need to save this document so that it knows where that button is. So I've got my hyperlink added in. I've added in the span tags. You'll notice they reference span up here a few times. And you'll notice that my image is still not showing up. So I need to give it better directions because we save our images in an images folder so I need to do images slash and now you'll notice that my buttons show up if you can't see the color of your text you need to do some editing and make sure that your links do work and that is the first nav bar